Hey everybody, it's Becca J. Welcome back to my uh, <laughs> my channel. I almost said, welcome back to my planet. <laughs> that was, wow. Okay, so today we are trying the Soap and Glory What Appealing Purifying Declogging Mask. I have never tried Soap and Glory masks before. Like I have the hand food, I have the Righteous Butter, and I have the Clean On Me shower wash which that shower wash really dries me out um so luckily i have the righteous butter but i have not tried their masks yet and i grabbed a couple of them while i was at ulta so hopefully it's not terrible but it's cute it's a, a two pack this is going to be like a peeling mask uh it says for lifting out gunk and junk which I have, you know, and I'm broken out, so I'm hoping this doesn't, like, actually rip my uh, acne, you know, and I don't want to bleed. There's no whiteheads or anything like that. They're not soft. They're trying to heal, but anyways, I, I don't want them torn off. Okay, it says a full facial blitz for skin in need. Power packed with 10 amazing ingredients, including betonite, kaolin fine clay powders to help absorb excess oil plus vitamin c and e oolong tea white willow bark lentil seed sage chamomile ginger extracts the fronts um also says the same thing okay there's a couple other things listed in the ingredients water is the number one it also has mei chung fruit oil uh, red tea leaf extracts yeah, so um, always check your ingredients to make sure you're not allergic to anything because that would be terrible. You don't want a reaction or your face to explode or anything. You know, I have a friend who's severely allergic to honey. And you, you know, you don't want stuff like that on your face. So, twin pack, that's cute. I love the packaging of Soap and Glory. It's just very 50s looking with lots of pink infused into their motifs and the silver. It's just very appealing. <laughs> okay, so here's our instructions. Um, wash spatula in soapy warm water before use, so it does include a spatula, it says. Apply a thin, even layer onto clean, dry skin, avoiding eye area, hairline, eyebrows, and lips. Sounds... I don't know. Smooth over skin and focus in on problem areas prone to open pores, especially around the T-zone, nose, and chin. Leave on for 20 to 25 minutes until completely dry so you can peel it off in one sheet. While you're waiting, bake some cupcakes or make a pie. Not doing that. Prepare for liftoff. This mask is tough on skin baddies, so expect it to pull a bit as you reveal fresh looking skin. Gently peel it off upwards from the chin to forehead. Rinse off any excess with warm water. I wonder if that's like code for it's going to hurt. So let's get this open and check it out. Okay, so I open the back and that's what it looks like on the inside. Here's the little spatula and it says our multitasking mask declogs pores, lifts away dirt and impurities, removes excess oil, purifies, smooths, brightens. A one peel wonder. <laughs> Scented with our exotic tropical fruit fragrance. Oh, which is the going to be the Mei Chung. Cool. So I open that up and there are my little things. We're gonna pop one out. I will save the other one for later if this does not go badly. If this ends up being extremely painful, I won't be doing it again. Okay, so here's our little capsule. Uh, here's the peel thing. Does not peel easily and when I did pop it open, a little bit went everywhere but it is pink I don't know if you can see that and it is liquidy oh my gosh that smells really good not sure how to use this it looks like an eyebrow 
<laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm going to wing it. I'm just scraping some off of the lid so I can get it in there. I don't, I don't know how to use this. I'm going to scoop some of it out. Wow. Looks like calamine lotion. I'm not even sure if I'm using this correctly. The fragrance is really strong. I was not expecting that. This little tool is a pain in the butt. I don't like to use my fingers, but it looks like that's what I'm going to be doing because I, I, I can't do hardly anything with this. I just, I can't. Ooh, now that it's on my finger, I don't know how to explain it. It feels like really thick. Okay, and I'm going to try to avoid the, this is a mess, the nose ring. And just to be safe, I'm going to completely avoid the hairline. I'm not going to take it all the way back. I put some on my upper lip. Hopefully I don't have any mustache hairs there because uh, I'm, I'm a little afraid by how the package says, you know, it's tough on it. So yeah, pray with me. Okay, it's already drying a little bit right here and it seems to be darkening up. It is discoloring. So that's, that's good. They said a thin layer, but I'm like, what's a thin layer? There's a lot in this little pod. So it's like, how thin is thin? I always just do thick and then regret it later. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. That's as brave as I am. I do have some larger pore areas to where the stuff just soaked right into that and left like a hole or a space, so I covered those up. But this is, you know, I don't want to get here because of the hair, and it sucks too. I wish it could get closer to the eyebrow because, like, I have a pimple right here, but I don't want to get the product closer to the hair because it warned me not to, which, I don't know, makes me a little nervous, you guys. Okay, so I do still have quite a bit left. Not enough for another face, but there is enough in there I could put more on. I just, I don't want to. I think this is good enough, so I can feel it starting to dry. It does pull a little bit. I don't, I don't know. Okay, it said 20 to 25 minutes, so I'm gonna go watch my show and I will be back. Okay, so I did the 25 minutes. Um, it's semi-flexible as I'm starting to talk, like it is peeling. You can see that right there. Wow. Okay made it peel off a little bit. It said to go from the bottom up. So I'm trying to find like this area to peel it off. Oh, it does hurt a little bit on those baby hairs, but it's not too bad. Oh, oh, okay. Right here. Yeah, it hurts, but I don't feel like it's ripping off my skin. Yeah. Can you hear it? Smarts a little bit. That was not as bad as I thought. I was expecting like something super scary, super painful. Wow, I can actually see like the impression of my pores in the mask. I don't know if I'm seeing. Oh, there's a couple hairs. Wow, oh, and it is like baby soft smooth. Wow. I don't know why, but I really did. I expected that to be extremely 
painful <laughs> and it wasn't I mean you know along here it did catch baby hairs on this side so I'm glad I didn't go too far back but I you can see I do have some acne there so that's you can see where it was and where it wasn't that's crazy um it's real soft real smooth even though like I have acne like right here oh wow okay let me take a close-up look of my stuff oh it really did it got the stuff out hopefully it will help this stuff heal which now I had gone just a little further back um, I do feel a little dry nothing major I will still put on moisturizer just because you should always do that after every mask of any kind even sheet masks you should put on moisturizer to lock in all that good stuff so let me do that real quick okay that feels much better are we crooked oh no oh well um wow so if you have it you want it you love it you hate it leave me a comment and let me know this went a whole lot better than i expected really truly i thought it might hurt a little bit um and I put on a thicker layer than what I thought I should have done. But even then, I think that helped it peel in the one piece because it felt real thin as it was coming off. Um, yeah, I just wish I, I could have gotten closer. You could probably get a little closer. Just watch out for your little sideburn hairs. Um, maybe I could have done a real thin. I don't know. I don't know I did what I did and I'm really pleased with the turnouts um, I'm not red very much I have a little bit but you know it was an, an adhesive type mask I'm having trouble today with my words I cannot think of the right words for anything but you know as a peel-off mask it adheres and it's like peeling glue off your face anyway um yeah hopefully it's just uh can't think of the word again oh yeah so hopefully it's an effective mask because like i said i do have acne that i want to go away um my moisturizer has absorbed into my skin and i still feel like i'm a little dry so i will put another layer on especially like right here and around the nostril area there's a fly I smell yummy the smell it was a really good smell stronger than what I would have liked but it smelled good so yeah all in all I think this was a great experience hopefully it's like I said is effective and it works well um, but yeah I'm gonna put on another layer of moisturizer because I can feel it just like right here it feels tight um, oh and I go like that and I can feel it so yeah okay so until next time bye Good job, Mom. Don't forget, click, click, like, subscribe. <laughs>